They met for five hours in a session that lasted into the early morning, but Greek officials and the Troika, debt inspectors from the European Union, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund, failed to finalize terms for a crucial bailout for Athens. The visitors drove away from the prime minister's office, leaving Greece's fate up in the air. The sticking point was creditors' demands to make 300 million euros in pension cuts. Afterward, Finance Minister Evangelos Venizelos issued a dramatic plea to leaders of his country's coalition government to quickly resolve their differences. The country's survival in coming years depends on the new program. As does the completion or not of the private sector involvement, PSI, and whether the country remains in the Eurozone or its place in Europe is endangered. The markets didn't seem too concerned. In Europe, shares on the major exchanges, including Frankfurt, opened higher, and the index in Athens showed solid gains in morning trading. Many, like fund manager Theodore Krintas, just didn't believe the pension cuts would torpedo the much larger 130 billion euro bailout package. They won't default Greece for 300 million euros. Um, they will, they will uh, make sure that we'll find a way. He warned, though, that stocks would remain volatile, and they dropped as the day wore on. Meanwhile, on the streets of Athens, anger is erupting once again. Public power corporation workers were marching Thursday against cutbacks they say will result in the company being sold off. And labor unions have called a general strike for Friday and Saturday, plus a rally outside Parliament Sunday, when lawmakers are expected to vote on new austerity measures. A survey this week found more than 90 percent of Greeks felt the government was taking the country in the wrong direction. Even though the prime minister later announced a deal, that view is unlikely to change anytime soon. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.